The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're going to create some bending and gliding and disrespectful 808s. The demo track that I got pulled up is a perfect vibe for this, so let's check it out. Sometimes I feel like I'm on a cloud. Nothing but raindrops when I look out. Up in these hills, I can't hear the crowd. Got me looking down. I think I made it well. The track is composed of a clap, hi-hats, rim, chant, the typical trap kit made out of pieces from the Urban Beats bundle, and the synths are from Nexus, a piano, a uh, sine wave that I made in Serum. I did some half timing off to one side and the dry signal off to the other side on both of these synths, and then used some different EQs to just dip out certain ranges that I felt the vocal needed to occupy. And then I have a bass pad and some strings that fill in the little uh, bridge section. And on the background vocals, I'm using the brand new background sauce. Now this is similar to lead vocal sauce where you can just drop it on a raw recording, but what it's doing under the hood is actually the complete opposite. Background sauce is taking this one single background vocal take, feel like I'm on a cloud, and sending it as far to the outside as possible. Nice and wide. And I'm also using background sauce up here on my snap too to filter it in during the pre-chorus with the high cut knob right here that's moving. And I'm also using it to make it nice and wide. And we'll show you what the finished product sounds like. That's with it and without it. Let's dive in to some bending 808s. The baseline for this chord progression is already inside of this MIDI clip that I have on Serum and Piano. So let's just make a new MIDI channel right beneath it and go and extract our bass. Let's hit Command A, use Shift, Delete, and what we're left with is our bass line. We don't have any instruments on this channel yet, so I'm going to go grab an 808. Actually, I've been using Urban Beats 3 a lot. Let's try Urban Beats 1. Disrespectful 808s. I'm looking for one with a kick and some long sustain to it. I like this one. It's not quite completely distorted, which is perfect because this song is a little bit softer. So I've double clicked it and it's now loaded up here on this MIDI channel. The first things I'm going to do is turn off the snapping mode, which tries to align this to some sort of a grid. We don't really need that. And voices only need to be one. The filter we're not going to use, and I might actually turn the attack up a little bit and turn the sustain down a little bit, and that gives us some room to turn our volume up. I'm going to hit shift down to send it down an octave, and since this sample is a D, that means that we have to send it down two more semitones so that it plays a C. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Now this pattern isn't too interesting yet, so let's hack these notes up a little bit and create something more fun. I like taking things off the downbeats as much as possible, like the ones and the threes, using as many eighth notes as I can. And also let's double the length of this pattern too. And you really gotta do this part by ear. Build the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hope. Hold it down. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Pushing these packs. Oop, let's have this one be on the two instead of the four. Selling now. Yeah, yeah. And why you hating? I be stacking moolah. And let's also automate the mute on our 808 so it does the same mute as the synths up here. We just hit show automation. Can hit command C and paste it down here. Are you tired of searching through overused, low quality vocal samples? Have you wasted days of your life mixing your embarrassing vocal recordings? 
Introducing the Organic Vocal Bundle, the complete collection of male and female samples, sauced up and ready to drop in your productions. The Organic Vocal Bundle is available now only at Holoops.com. So now that this 808 has a nice bouncy pattern, it's time to go in and do some bends. By default, we get five semitones on the pitch bend control of our MIDI keyboard when we use simpler. So we're gonna switch that to sampler because I like to do an octave. It helps it sound like it bends to the right note. And that's really all we have to change in here. So let's get to bending. Let's try our first bend when the clap hits. Boom. And then this one I want it to go like fast, like almost like the note changed, but not quite like that, maybe. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. And then we'll have this one bend up a little bit so that it almost sounded like it started at the old note. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Pushing these packs, cause they. Actually, let's have it end like closer to the. Hold it down, hold it down. Pushing these packs. Have it start a little bit lower too, like that. Boom. Take that one off and the one beneath it. And you can also bend these bends by holding the option key and pushing. If you don't want it to bend so fast down or you want it to bend even faster down, you can bend your bends. Pushing these packs cause they like the sound. And I ain't selling now. No, I ain't selling now. Yeah, yeah. Let me also add one more hit in this 808. Boom turn the velocity down on these. Let's actually turn the velocity up all the way on these and then turn the volume down on this channel. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Pushing these packs cause they like the sound. And I ain't selling now. No, I ain't selling now. Yeah, yeah. And then we can grab this. If you guys have seen my mixing kicks and 808s tutorial, you'll remember this technique. I'll put a link to that in the description, but this is gonna give you that kind of floppy late kick effect. Till the same read, but I'm popping. Till the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Pushing these packs, cause they like the sound. And I ain't selling now. No, I ain't selling now. Yeah, yeah. And why you hating? I be stacking mood. For this one, let's have it bend up. Just like the first one did, but in the opposite direction. And now since this one starts high, it can have it go back down low for the turnaround. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Pushing these packs cause they like the sound. And I ain't selling now, no I ain't selling now. Maybe this should be up here. Uh, yeah, yeah. And why you hating? I be stacking mood. Uh. And I could slow down, but I won't do that to ya. And I could cool it, but I'm really too uh, Too uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm on a cloud. Maybe not quite so selling now. Yeah, yeah. This process is really about trial and error and being creative and trying things that you normally wouldn't in places that you normally wouldn't. Because giving your 808s bends is giving your 808s life. I hope you found the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.